Precision Hawk team, we got invited down here to Lockhart, South Carolina today for an emergency co-op. We're going to be conducting flights over this landfill to detect the asbestos particles, to monitor some air quality, and to run volumetric analysis. We're going to be working in collaboration with uh, Dr. Murphy at Roboticist Without Borders, Tetratech, and the EPA. The Vinant landfill is particularly problematic for the EPA because they can't get a good volumetric survey of this toxic waste dump because it's on fire. So they've asked Precision Hawk to come in and we've been able to get an emergency co-op from the FAA to be able to fly and give them a volumetric analysis. They'll be able to take that volumetric analysis, the reconstruction, and compare that to the original site surveys of the dump. Problems with this landfill uh, is improper uh, management of the cover materials and also served as a asbestos disposal. We're interested in the, the volumes of waste that, it, that are here eroding off the landfill and burning. We're taking samples for chemical constituents in the plume, including asbestos that is uh, distributed over the ground surface. Having an aero-based survey is preferential to uh, a traditional ground-based survey. Usually if we'd have someone on site uh, like this, uh, with a traditional survey, they need to have their 40-hour hazmat training. Also, the aerial platform provides a safety factor uh, from any exposure to plumes from the fire. Um, we're able to get over areas where a ground-based survey wouldn't be able to tread void spaces in a landfill like this. 